okay guys after a long time uh, it's almost you can see from the content that uh, last I published video on October 14 2023 so it's almost April 2025 and so you can say that after one year plus again I am uh, uploading video so it's a long time yeah there are different reason for which I had to detest from this channel and uh, just a disclaimer uh, due to my current location uh, yes I have been relocated and due to my current location you may uh, got some background noise and I beg pardon for that well from somewhere I have to start or you can say restart this channel and I really don't find any such topic currently which is coming to my mind but just to start or just to restart this channel I have selected well my favorite uh, that is connection design from that I will start or you can say yeah restart this channel and from this onward I hope I will be able to upload at least one video per week so that some of you can be benefited and just I am uh, reviving this channel to help somebody uh, who are really getting benefited from this channel especially the newbies who have just started their career in steel design after their college okay so let's start it well so today's topic is all about yeah connection connection and connection and also please ignore please ignore if you are my old viewers in that case you can find that this video is already repeating to you so for that uh, you can simply skip or ignore this definitely in upcoming days I will be able to add some values to your time uh, so for the time being uh, you can ignore this video and if you are new to this channel please watch it and also don't forget to subscribe this because definitely you are going to love this channel as a professional okay so let's start so I will try to keep very light to this video uh, because it, it will actually help me as after a long long time it's almost one plus year I am again recording some videos uh, so definitely I will also try to keep it very simple and very light okay so in connection design if you are already familiar with steel design you know that in steel design the bigger or the major part after designing or selecting the member that is your connection and you know in connection design you have two options first one is weld second one is your bolt but your client will always love the second one why because the first one demand more labor okay and more labor means more man hours and more man hours means more money so no client will prefer the first one if you prefer the second one or if you always try to provide majority of your connection as bolted connection definitely you will be considered as one of the efficient engineer because you will reduce the cost of your to your client okay the first one is shear connection what is shear connection well if this is your column and this is the beam this is another column and you need to connect this beam to this column in that case what will happen this is simply act as a pin support this is one pin this is one pin so this is your load and due to this reaction you will have some shear force in this phase and this phase so to resist or to carry this shear force what you have to do you have to join your beam to your column by this bolted arrangement and this is known as your shear connection right okay so second one is moment connection once you are done with your shear connection if you have a connection or frame like this where at this top you have to provide the moment connection why because in case of a application of a lateral load this is unstable if it is not moment connection in that case you have to provide this moment connection so in moment connection what is the measure of the forces simply if this is the applied force it will be transferred here as a shear force not only that due to this eccentricity if this is load p here you will have a moment m that is equals with p times e so to carry this moment you have to design this bolt so how this forces will be transferred well 
uh, though I have multiple videos on this but just to explain well if this is your face of the column and this is the beam so you are applying this moment you know any moment first it will be converted into a push and a pull so how you will determine this force simply moment divided by the depth of this beam let's say this is d so this push and pull force is nothing but m by d and it will be transferred here okay and also the vertical force that will be transferred in the form of shear forces okay and not only that you also have to check that once this push is being applied to the column here so this is the column flange and this is the web part and you are applying simply some compressive force so in this location here there will be some bulking effect okay so you have to check this column wave here okay this column well you have to check whether it is sufficiently strong or not to carry this push forces or compressive forces if it is not sufficient enough you, in that case what you have to do you have to provide some doubler plate here to increase the thickness of the web of the column so that's all about moment connection now come to the next one this is bearing connection actually i don't find any uh, proper picture from google so i am unable to put it here so bearing connection is simple let's say uh, you have a structure like this this is one column and this is another column i am sorry the drawing today is very bad i don't know this is maybe due to the orientation problem well so let, let's say this is the column this is another column and you have a beam like this okay so this is the roof beam okay so how you will design this column connection sorry so this is your beam this is the flange of the beam and this is the column top here so simply put a plate here at the top of the column and you insert some bolt here and it will be treated as bearing connection this may be fixed or you can say this may be with this connection type i will end this video and thank you for your patience in advance uh, i know i have completely distorted everything but definitely i will try my best from the next time so splice connection this may be for beam or maybe due to column okay in case of a long beam you have to provide this in beam connection here also you will have some moment so so this moment will be converted into again some tensile force at the bottom and some compressive force at the top so you have to design this bolting arrangement to uh, carry this compressive force and to carry this tensile force okay same is valid for column but in addition to the moment in column you also have some axial force in that case you have to design this bolting arrangement to carry the shear also and to carry the moment again you will have to convert this into push and pull and this push or compression let's say this is p it will be added with the axial force okay so actually to design the bolting arrangement for shear you have to consider total axial force as axial force a plus the p that is coming due to this moment okay so these were the basic type of connection and i have tried my best to describe all this definitely if you have any queries you can raise question in the comment section and then i will try to discuss them in elaborate way so thanks for watching